Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. You'll have to excuse the lighting for this intro, I'm doing this pretty late at night. But I realised that I haven't made a Sims 1 video in a while and I really feel like torturing myself. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to be playing The Sims Hot Date, which was such a good expansion pack when it came out. But getting married in The Sims 1 has always been a really hard thing to do. But we're going to make a Sim, we're going to see if they can get married, we're going to explore the downtown district that came with the pack. And all in all, watch me suffer. So let's jump into it. So this is Brogan Heart, like Broken Heart because he's sad that he's lonely. A very fancy man as you can see. I did think that Brogan was a girl's name, but apparently it's not. And I moved into this house because I never do and I have to furnish it, which is annoying as fuck because I can't be asked. but I'll throw some stuff in there. So if you've followed the channel for a while, you'll know I have one particular style and that is bad attempt at an Italian villa. I have made a build almost exactly like this before, but you might be thinking, Ryan, why did you spend so much time doing this considering it's just a quick little playthrough? And I guess we'll never know because I don't know what happened. I was so focused on it that I forgot what I was doing for a while. I've been recording for 25 minutes. <laughs> Usually I'd just stick a house and put some basic stuff in there. So I don't know what happened. I honestly couldn't tell you what's happened to me, but I enjoyed this. I did forget to buy a phone, but it's looking romantic. He's desperate to get someone in this house. Let's go downtown. We're going to look for love in all the right places. Look, honestly, it's really kind of you to come and see me. I'm new to the neighborhood. I get it, but I'm, I'm going out. So if you could get out of the way, I heard it the first time, Tiffany. I always have some kind of personal vendetta against Tiffany and she hasn't actually done anything. Here's downtown. I used to love this music. I don't know if it's copyrighted. If it is, I'm talking to myself for no reason. Oh, Tiffany, I don't know why I hate you so much, but please let me be. Thank you for waiting ever so patiently for me to even introduce myself. That's good of you. So let's start this nice and easy. Let's talk about my interests. Let's just talk about what I want all the time. Yeah, you have the right to be bored. Lee or Olivia. Molly, you are dressed a lot like me, so let's have a little chat. Talking about kissing already? Well, this is a definite. So for the first time ever, I'm going to approach this with tact. I'm not going to rush it. We're going to have normal, friendly interactions. She's in a bad mood already. Molly, how did that go from 11 to 5, you moody cow? I'll just stick to talking about my interests and telling jokes. All I'm good for, apparently. Molly wants nothing to do with me if try to be friendly, which I appreciate. I am a man that she's never met before. Sorry, I keep turning the camera because I cannot find an angle I like because the Sims 1 camera is terrible. We'll keep it to small talk only, so... How's work? How are you? What are you into? Lonely men? Because uh, that would be tip top for me. I told her I'm unemployed. She is... Oh god, she's a doctor. I am so embarrassed. She's that high-driven career woman and I just inherited an old Italian villa thing, apparently. You're hungry? Do you want to go get some food? If I, what if I ask you to just hang out? Okay, we'll hang out as friends first. Was that a nod? Yes? Yes! Let's go get some food. Keep it casual. Just a nice meal. A gut buster. <laughs> Not the classiest meal in the world, but whatever. We're just friends. We're just hanging out. What a gentleman. I stole a chair. I have never managed to build a relationship, even this little bit of the relationship, this quickly in The Sims 1. So things are going well. I don't know how. We're already friends. This is so easy. It's crumple bottom. <laughs> Ruining the vibe for me right now. I'm not going to lie. Wolf that one down, didn't you, Molly? I know you said you were hungry, but slow down. All right. Not a race. Again, Molly, I started first and you've already smashed that food down. Christ. I'm going to tickle you now. I feel like it's time. I feel like The Sims accepts being tickled really early in relationships. So I'm hoping that if I do this, she'll love it. Nope. <laughs> she did not love it. Oops. I'm just going to say goodbye. I'm not going to invite home. I might this cheat. I'll just nearly smack you in the face of my arm a few times and then I'll kiss you on the cheek, Molly. You're smooth, knowing when to end things and leave me begging for more. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Yes, that is the first time that's ended well for me. <laughs> She's got a crush on me. I don't have a crush on her. I'm playing this so cool. I'm not tired, though. I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to go somewhere else alone. Actually, I don't know if Molly will come with me. If she does, I'll ignore her. And just because we got Molly on our side doesn't mean she has to be who we end up with. We can always explore our options. First things first, though, let me just gamble away all of the money I have. I just want a grand. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. Gambling always pays off. Oh, it's happened again. All right. Well, that's a clear sign. Even if you think, uh oh, I might have a problem here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Keep trying. One more time. I won again. All right. Well, yeah, 100%. Get out there. Get a scratch card. Whoever's watching this, go get a scratch card right now. Tiffany's here. I'm going to greet her. I might try and get with her husband, actually, because I hate her so much. <laughs> I was going to try and lead her on, but what if I just steal her husband away from her? That's her husband. Let me just greet you. Doesn't have to lead anywhere, but you never know. <laughs> Let's just try and flirt straight away. Fuck it. <laughs> no, he doesn't like it. All right. <laughs> I mean, I wish I handled it a bit better and didn't cry like that, but that'll show her. What if I flirt with him right in front of her? Let me try growling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> She's looking at him now. She's not happy. Oh, he likes it as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> you do realize your wife is next to you. Don't slap me, slap him. Well, time for me to go because I'm getting battered to fuck right now. <laughs> My poor cheeks. Okay, well, <laughs> Mrs. Crumplebottom doesn't like what I've been doing either. The nerve of some people. Public displays of affection in my town. Not on my watch. Behave yourself. Could do whatever I want. I'm going home though because I feel like I've been thoroughly abused by everyone. Oh yeah, I didn't really decorate upstairs. I got bored. So I probably don't need to eat or have fun here because I can call Molly and invite her out somewhere again. That sounds fun. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, she's not giving too much away there. I respect that. I think I'm going to take her to the park. A handshake? <laughs> Molly, you frigid little prick. What's wrong with you? I just want to insult her. Okay, let's go get some food because I'm clearly cranky. Brad, you'll just cheat with anyone, will you? I got here about 10 p.m. The starter has just arrived. It's 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, absolutely fine, Miss Crumple, but I'm just take a seat. I'm falling in love slowly and you're just staring into my eyes. Okay, it is now 5 a.m. and we got our main. The good thing is I didn't order dessert because if I did, I'd be having it for breakfast. Oh, I didn't know you'd lost a crush on me since uh, why have you only just got one? Can I invite you home? I'm going to try it probably too soon. Oh, that looks like a yes to me. Let's get a fire on. Let's really set the mood. Sit down on the carcass rug. Nothing more romantic than sitting on something dead. Hey girl, come over here. How do I get you to sit with me? I gotta say, it looks like we're both having a great time. I've been sat there for hours. She's just staring out the window. She has been since about 11pm. It's now 1am. She's leaving. Okay. <laughs> I don't really blame you, Molly. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm up at 3 in the morning just so I can catch Molly before she goes to work, you know? So as soon as it hits 7, we're gonna invite her out somewhere. That sound scares me every time. <laughs> Nothing even turned up. That sounds great. Is that better or worse than last time? I feel like she's a she's a closed book, our mole, and I don't know how to deal with it. Why are we still shaking hands? <laughs> we both have a crush on each other, don't we? I'm going for the age-old trick, and I'm just going to buy her things. Red roses. And also, when I said I'm going to buy her things as the age-old trick, I meant the age-old Sibs trick. I wasn't being misogynistic. Just to make sure that's clear. I don't know where, but I know you can get a diamond ring from somewhere. I'm going to find it. I don't know why I'm looking around here like there's another shop. I don't think there is. Let me go and buy your love. I think this is the one. I'll buy you a copy of The Sims. Chocolates. Where is the diamond ring stall? Oh, wait. Hold on. Here. <laughs> diamond ring. And a necklace. Oh, you're just going to go home covered in fucking jewellery and computer games. I do realise that saying computer games makes me sound like I'm about 65 years old, but I'm just saying it in the sense that it is a game for the computer. And this was out in the year 2000. People did call it computer games. We will start off big. Let's go straight for the diamond ring. You can get the sims at the end, so you're very disappointed with that present after you've been spoiled up from the start. I do like that we're doing this at the checkout. You're not even going to be a little bit surprised. Just a crush. I do feel like I'm cheating now, but <laughs> whatever. Time for... I just want to hear the music. Let me try this kiss. You're going to hate this. Oh, so are you, Molly. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> You're in a bad mood. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Are you hungry? You're always fucking hungry. Let's go get some food. Jesus. All oh, this for a kiss. It's like to sound like I'm singing Mr. Brightside. I'm going to try inviting you home again. Please don't be a prick about it. You can go to the toilet at my house. Just say yes. Smooth move. Your companion has had it with your behavior. I got a nice meal. Fuck that, actually. I got a diamond ring and a necklace and the Sims. I'll just buy two more diamond rings and then I'll go home. So I think what I'll do tonight is invite Molly round to the house. We won't go downtown because I feel like it's really hard to actually get her to come back after that. And then hopefully we'll convince her to marry us, even though we've already given her a diamond ring. I finally managed to get my needs up and uh, it's too late to invite her round. So <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I'll just go back to sleep, I guess. All right, please come round, Molly. I am getting desperate, to be honest. Read a book while I wait for her to get there so my fun doesn't go down too low. Because apparently she is no fun. Sure, this place is Dolesville. I'm sure I'll have more fun at your place. I just got the ick over her saying Dolesville. Oh, fucking hell, Molly. I didn't even get through the first chapter of that book. I have not learned any lesson. I will go for a romantic kiss straight away. And you'll say yes. I just know it. Oh, yes, she did. Sounds are pretty intense, to be honest. Why won't you kiss me? <laughs> Why would you kiss me outside, but not inside? You're in a bad mood. All right, let me serve you some food. Didn't mean to rhyme, but it's okay. I nearly said it's fine. That would have rhymed too. Here, eat this. I have just remembered that one of the things that they do enjoy is sitting down and watching TV and making sure that you chat to them. Otherwise, you can't get married. So it's a weird layout now, but that is the... TV area. Let's get her to watch TV with me. There you go. Now you're in a much better mood. What was wrong with you? Let's have a passionate kiss now. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Can we just have a romantic hug? Is that too far? Yeah, she's fine with that. Wait, have a diamond ring. <laughs> that might cheer you up. Now, can we kiss? I'll just go for a peck, but are you okay with it? Now that you've eaten, watched TV, sat down and had a wee. Yes. Does this mean I'm finally going to get to hear the tune that I've been dying to hear this entire time? Have another diamond ring <laughs> just for kissing me back. You deserve it. Okay, I love her. She doesn't love me. 
But it's fine. Proposition. Marriage. Okay, it's too early. I'm not going to do that yet. Can I propose marriage? Is it too soon? Yeah, probably. Uh, here's a teddy bear and some chocolates. And then I'm going to ask you to marry me. Come on. She did it. She actually did it. I didn't even get changed. I really didn't even think that was going to happen. It's so hard to get married in The Sims 1. <laughs> That's so nice. We didn't even turn off the TV to get married. Let's see what your needs actually were like. You were just a bit tired, you cranky gal. Well, we managed to get married. We might as well try for a baby. But the best way, before woohoo, heart shape bed. Actually, I'm going to make this room horrendous. Give me a second. There you go. Sorry, when I said horrendous, I meant an interior designer's dream because I think that is beautiful. I even put mistletoe there so they know they have to kiss. So it doesn't always equal a baby. So if it doesn't work, we will just try kissing, but we'll see what happens. So I tried it like three times and it didn't work, but for some reason I forgot to speak during, so that's why I'm telling you now. Let's just try all of the kisses and see if it works. Here we go. Should we have a baby? Yes, we should, even though I really hate them. <laughs> Congratulations, it's a girl. So once on a live stream, I did completely leave this by accident and it names the child for you. What if I, I think if I just press OK, it'll do it as well. So the baby should now just be called Sim Child, at least when it grows up into a kid. If it grows up into a kid, very hard to look after. But yeah, here are the screams. This is the normal level of scream and it still stresses me out. We'll leave it for a little while. And this is where it gets horrendous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There you go, little sim child. You'll, you'll be okay. Molly! <laughs> Stop! I know you didn't want that kid, but you don't have to burn the house to the ground. There we go. Everything's fine. We just, we only lost a counter. Oh my God, another... <laughs> You are not destined to cook. And the baby's crying. Molly, put it out. Actually, let's call the fire department. I don't think you're going to make that. We'll keep the child alive. You just keep the house standing. Well, we lost the kitchen, but everything's fine. <laughs> I put the kitchen back in. Molly, I just want to see if you really are cursed. She is. Okay. <laughs> Three times in a row. They don't deserve life. <laughs> At least the baby's sleeping soundly. Well, the carpool comes in an hour. <laughs> Molly, you best hop to work. Your husband's dead, but don't worry about it. Shame on you. The baby is being neglected. Make sure the baby gets enough food and sleep or someone from social services may relieve you of your parental duties. Do you know what, Molly? Sim child doesn't deserve that. You go look after them. She can't move. <laughs> She can get past the fire. I'm from SimCity Social Services and I'm here to take away your suffering baby. Perhaps another Sim family will be more devoted than you have been. I am sorry, Miss Social Services, but I lost my husband to a fire that is currently active and I've been fired. What a terrible day for Molly. Well, I think that's a fitting end, really, because this whole thing has been an absolute mess. I don't know what else I expected from the Sims one, but there you have it. Molly might have lost a husband and a child, but she did get a nice house at the end of it. Just needs to do a bit of renovation work to the kitchen. Anyway, thanks for joining me on another one. I always have fun playing The Sims 1. There's plenty more like this to watch on the channel and if you don't subscribe already, please do. But I will catch you in the next one. See you then.